Well, this time I don't have to have radiation. I get to have chemo. <laughs> hey guys, it's Monday. I'm going out for some nature therapy. I'm at one of my favorite places. It's the nature trail here behind Bass Pro Shop in Foxborough. Look at these beautiful roses. It's really chilly this morning and overcast. It's 58 degrees. Last week it was 95 with a heat index of 105. So this is a huge difference. Many of you know that I was diagnosed with multiple myeloma on August 17th. I was first diagnosed with IMGUS in January of 2016. And that's the precursor to multiple myeloma. You know, they say there's a one to 3% chance that it will turn to multiple myeloma. Well, I guess I was the one to 3% chance. I'm not really that good at explaining multiple myeloma because I'm still trying to understand it myself. But it is a rare blood cancer. There are approximately 200,000 people that have it. Being out in nature definitely does help me. Also, my husband is in China. He left on Friday. So that's always hard on me not to be with my husband. Well, I need to clarify that. My husband will be home for chemo. He's gone eight days before it over in China. So I really miss him so much and I can't wait for him to be home. And obviously I need him here during my treatment. So I miss my hubby. I will be starting chemotherapy next week. I'm gonna be on 10 medications that really um, it's really hard for me to absorb because I don't take any medication whatsoever. This is the cranberry bog. The way my chemo is going to work is one of the drugs is sent to the house. I get 14 pills. I'll be on it every day for 14 days. And boy, is that pill expensive. It's $9,800 just for 14 days. And then twice a week, for two weeks, I have to go to the infusion unit for an injection. They used to put it through an IV, but now they do it through the stomach. Supposedly there's less side effects um, doing it that way. Look at all the pretty goldenrod. And then I have to be on a really strong steroid. That's gonna be four times a week. That goes like the day before the injection and the day after. So it'll be two weeks active treatment, and then the third week is a uh, recovering week, as they have to worry about your platelets and your white count being too low. Right at the moment, I'm on for four cycles. It'll be a total of 12 weeks. I can't remember all the other medications. So that was three I mentioned, but um, it'll be 10. I know I'm gonna be on a blood thinner. I have to be on an anti viral, an antibiotic, anti, um, like an antacid medication, like a prescription Prilosec. I can't remember the other one. That really expensive drug gets sent to my house. And it's pretty cool. It comes with a little bottle that sends alerts to your cell phone to take it. And it lights up and plays like a little song. It's obviously really important that I don't miss that medication. Needless to say, all these drugs come with all kinds of side effects. One of the main ones they said is going to be fatigue. They encourage me to still stay as active as I can. I'm not going to be able to do as much as I used to, they said, but definitely try to keep active. So, you know, some of the side effects are heart attacks, blood clots, strokes, nausea, all kinds of digestive problems low blood count. I mean, I'm just naming only just a few. Because if I read the whole list, it's quite overwhelming. Three of the medicines, it says active, not active, it says excessive, rapid weight gain. You know, especially the steroids can cause uh, a lot of weight gain. I've maintained my 130 pound weight loss a year now, so that, that has me concerned. trains. Do you hear that train? 
You know me, I love trains. So one thing about this cancer is it's not curable, but it is treatable. And my oncologist said, who knows, in a few years, maybe they'll be coming out with another medicine to help beat this horrible multiple myeloma. So I have to try my best to not let this define me. While it's true, I have cancer. That isn't all of who I am. There is so much more about me. You guys have been really awesome. With all the love and support, and the prayers that you've been saying for me. And I really appreciate you guys asking how Chris is doing. Because needless to say, this is a really difficult time for the whole family. And my poor husband, he's really worried about me. I'm not going to be doing videos from the cancer center. People don't need to see me taking pills and watching me get blood work and having injections. But I will do an occasional update on what's going on. It's really, it's really hard for me to even accept this whole thing. I mean, I know this is happening. Oh, my hand's in the way there. I know this is happening. And I keep feeling like, oh, it's a nightmare. I'm going to wake up and it's not true, but it is true. So thanks to everybody for your love and support. And I'll keep you updated. Isn't this place beautiful? Look at that. Peace, love, and joy. Always be humble. Always be kind. There's probably people coming. Oh my gosh. It's nature's fairy. She's making a video. Bye. Well, guys, did I tell you I'm on television now? <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. All right, well, this little video is going to be just some information about the multiple myeloma and my treatment. So stay tuned. Well, hello, everybody. Yes, it is me, Nature's Fairy. I'm out in the woods. You know me, I love being out in the woods. Well, I just absolutely love this hat. I think it looks quite becoming on me. Oh my, look at that. Ooh. Oh, I meant to tell you, the one good thing about this chemotherapy is I won't be losing my hair. So the whole goal of this chemotherapy is to get me into remission. And once they do, then I have to have a stem cell transplant. And that's another whole ballpark. But right now, you don't even want to think about that. Well, I think I like those pink glasses. <laughs> well, I think the purple ones look pretty good too, and they match my jacket. Nah, yellow's not a good color on me. Don't cry, Nature's Fairy. Everything's going to be okay. Well, I hope everybody's having a good day. I'm having a good day. Nature is the best medicine, I'll tell you. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a couple people got upset with me because they thought I was making a joke out of cancer and obviously it's not a joke but this is just my way of coping humor definitely does help of course I have my moments when I cry too and of course it's serious but this is what helps me see you next time